everybody fired up. It is indeed going to be a loud atmosphere, Paul. All right, everyone, everyone can now, you can readjust the volume on your set right now. Boy, is Becky Burke not the cool teacher who lets you scream and yell in class or what? Uh, and she, hey, legitimately, Jared, this, Jared, this is a an unusual atmosphere. How does Becky and her team take advantage of it? You have to ride the energy early. Um, use the crowd as a spark plug, and if you're BG, you have to find a way to just get your communicated plays out. Falcons in the orange, Bulls in the whole whites, here we go. Buffalo at Bowling Green, Kids Day in Alumni Arena. Good ball movement by the Falcons, and right to the rim, and up and in is Amy Velasco with the first two points of the day. A key strength of BG is Velasco's efficiency. She only shoots when she should, and she's a killer on the court when she decides to go into kill mode and score. Change in the starting lineup for the Buffalo Bulls. Hattie Ogden not starting. Satona Hines making her first start of the season off the miss there. Starting lineups are presented by the UB Alumni Association, representing over 293,000 alumni in 150 countries worldwide. A collision off the side of the ball. There's the BG starting lineup. Sharps, Velasco, Kohler, Hill back in after missing some time with an injury. And Porter and... We'll get a look there at Kirsten Lewis, Lewis Williams getting things mixed up with Amy Velasco. Yeah, just didn't have enough time to try to fight over the screen. Uh, Velasco was stationary, so it's just a player control foul. Really wanted to keep it work through it. Yeah, Bulls had some real significant foul trouble in their last game against Western Michigan, and that's an early one on their second leading score, Kirsten Lewis Williams. Kohler kicks to the corner. Three will not go for Morgan Sharks and Hines with the rebound. Cito Hines, the junior from Spain, the transfer from St. John's. Jella Watson, the leading scorer in the Mid-American Conference, double teamed as she slides to the right. And Hines will put the three up and hit it. So there's a key thing about stretching the court ball right now. BG is playing two conventional low post forwards at the same time. This could be a great matchup for Ness. First three-pointer of the season. Limited playing time all season long for Cito Hines. Speaking of post players, that's Erica Porter. And her hook shot won't go, but her follow will draw a foul. And watch Hines again in the starting lineup because she's been terrific in practice, played good, exciting, energetic minutes in the game against Western Michigan. Yep, and you can tell um, just based on the way Coach Burke has managed the games in the past, you can tell that she sees a potential spark in inserting Hines into the starting lineup. She's done things previously this season if they thought they could outrun certain post teams. First free throw by Erica Porter is not good. I'm sure we'll see plenty of Hattie Ogden, and she'll get plenty of minutes today, but she has been struggling a bit lately, just averaging five points a game in the last four. Uh, the Bulls certainly need her in three-point shooting, so we'll see how that rotation adjusts as the game goes on. Erica Porter, the senior from West Windsor, New Jersey, and the transfer from Baylor on the board with her first point coming off an amazing game that we'll tell you about a little bit later uh, in the last outing for Bowling Green, which was a long to Miami, and there's more contact and collision, and this one's going to go on the Falcons freshman Paige Cole. Well, you can tell already that they have a little bit of a special coverage plan for Chella Watson. Uh, Bowling Green, notorious for playing patent on ball screens and drop coverage. They just tried to trap Chella Watson off the screen. Um, I'm sure there will be an adjustment to that coming out of the media. Well, there's no doubt that Jella Watson gets all of the defensive focus for any opponent, and she has earned it and deserves it. That short jumper comes up off the side of the rim. Fast break opportunity for Kohler, and that's going to count. Three-point play opportunity for Paige Kohler. Bang, bang play.
let's see where she takes this contact. Oh yeah, she moved her foot down the stretch. So had she just stayed solid, there's a chance to draw this charge, but that is the correct call. So Hines draws the foul. Kohler, one of the top freshmen in the back, 10.3 points per game, goes to the free throw line. Paige Kohler originally committing to play here at UB out of high school and then making the decision to go to Bowling Green instead. Even though Hines committed that foul, she's kind of playing with rocket skates on now, and I love it. She, she has started this game with something to prove. She's everywhere, both offense and defense right now. You think any of the kids in this crowd own a pair of rocket skates anywhere? I mean, if I, I didn't grow up on rocket power like I did, but anything's possible. Tipped away and stolen away by the Falcons. Here comes Velasco, and she'll kick it back to the top of the key. Three for Sharps, no good. And... Boy, the 